all these actions and decisions, President George W. Bush has acted in a manner contrary to his trust as President and Commander-in-Chief and subversive of constitutional government to the prejudice of the cause of law and justice and to the manifest injury of the people of the United States. Wherefore, President George W. Bush, by such conduct, is guilty of an impeachable offense warranting removal from office. Article 14. Misprision of a felony, misuse and exposure of classified information, and obstruction of justice in the matter of Valerie Plame Wilson, clandestine agent of the Central Intelligence Agency. In his conduct while President of the United States, George W. Bush, in violation of his constitutional oath to faithfully execute the office of President of the United States, and to the best of his ability to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States, and in violation of his constitutional duty under Article 2, Section 3 of the Constitution, to take care that the laws be faithfully executed, has both personally and acting through his agents suppressed material information, two, selectively declassified information for the improper purposes of retaliating against the whistleblower and presenting a misleading picture of the alleged threat from Iraq. Three, facilitated the exposure of the identity of Valerie Plame Wilson, who had theretofore been employed as a covert CIA operative. Four, failed to investigate the improper leaks of classified information from within his administration. Five, failed to cooperate with an investigation into possible federal violations resulting from this activity. And six, finally, entirely undermine the prosecution by commuting the sentence of Lewis Libby, citing false and insubstantial grounds, all in an effort to prevent Congress and the citizens of the United States from discovering the deceitful nature of the President's claimed justifications for the invasion of Iraq. In facilitating this exposure of classified information and the subsequent, co subsequent cover-up, in all these actions and decisions, President George W. Bush has acted in a manner contrary to his trust as president and subversive of constitutional government to the prejudice of the cause of law and justice and to the manifest injury of the people of the United States. Wherefore, President George W. Bush, by such conduct, is guilty of an impeachable offense warranting removal from office. Article 15. Providing immunity from prosecution for criminal contractors in Iraq. In his conduct while President of the United States, George W. Bush, in violation of his constitutional oath to faithfully execute the office of President of the United States, and to the best of his ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States, and in violation of his constitutional duty under Article 2, Section 3 of the Constitution, to take care that the laws be faithfully executed, has both personally and acting through his agents and subordinates, together with the Vice President, established policies granting United States government contractors and their employees in Iraq immunity from Iraqi law, U.S. law, and international law. Louis Paul Bremer III, then Director of Reconstruction and Humanitarian Assistance for Post-War Iraq, on June 27, 2004, issued Coalition Provisional Authority Order Number 17, which granted members of the U.S. military U.S. mercenaries and other U.S. contractor employees immunity from Iraqi law. The Bush administration has chosen not to apply the Uniform Code of Military Justice or United States law to mercenaries and other contractors employed by the United States government in Iraq. 
operating free of Iraqi or U.S. law. Mercenaries have killed Iraqi citizens in a manner that observers have described as aggression and not self-defense. Many U.S. contractors have also alleged that they've been the victims of aggression in several cases of rape by their fellow contract employees in Iraq. These charges have not been brought to trial. In several cases, the contracting companies and the U.S. State Department have worked together in attempting to cover them up. Under the Fourth Geneva Convention, to which the United States is party, and under which Article 6 of the U.S. Constitution is therefore the supreme law of the United States. It's the responsibility of the occupying force to ensure the protection and human rights of the civilian population. The efforts of President Bush and his subordinates to attempt to establish a lawless zone in Iraq are a violation of the law. In all these actions and decisions, President George W. Bush has acted contrary to his trust as president and subversive of constitutional government, to the prejudice of the cause of law and justice, and to the manifest injury of the people of the United States. Wherefore, President George W. Bush, by such conduct, is guilty of an impeachable offense warranting removal from office. Article 16. Reckless misspending and waste of U.S. tax dollars in connection with Iraq contractors. In his conduct while President of the United States, George W. Bush, in violation of his constitutional oath to faithfully execute the office of President of the United States, and to the best of his ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. And in violation of his constitutional duty, under Article 2, Section 3 of the Constitution, to take care that the laws be faithfully executed, has both personally and acting through his agents and subordinates, together with the Vice President, recklessly wasted public funds on contracts awarded to close associates, including companies guilty of defrauding the government in the past, contracts awarded without competitive bidding, cost plus contracts designed to encourage cost overruns, and contracts not requiring satisfactory completion of the work. These failures have been the rule, not the exception, in the awarding of contracts for work in the United States and abroad over the past seven years. Repeated exposure of fraud and waste has not been met by the President with correction of systemic problems, but rather with retribution against whistleblowers. The House Committee on Oversight and Government Reform reported on the Iraq reconstruction contracting. Here's a quote. From the beginning, the administration adopted a flawed contracting approach in Iraq. Instead of maximizing competition, the administration opted to award no-bid, cost-plus contracts to politically connected contractors. Halliburton's secret $7 billion contract to restore Iraq's oil infrastructure is the prime example. Under this no-bid, cost-plus contract, Halliburton was reimbursed for its cost and then received an additional fee, which was a percentage of its cost, this created an incentive for Halliburton to run up its costs in order to increase its potential profit.